All right, Art 2, so we're just going to go over, this is some video instructions to go over your assignment um, where you gotta make your concrete plan for your social issues project. We've been working through your sketches so far. We'll be doing well, kind of hammering out our ideas, kind of reworking some of our ideas. So um, you've got a lot of feedback from me on the preliminary sketches you got, so please check your feedback. Um, some of us need to talk about uh, your ideas a little bit more, your sketches a little bit more, and some of you are ready to go and make more plans on your project. So let's go through the plans that you will have to make. So um, let's go slide. We're just going to go one by one through each slide and answer the questions. First one's easy, big or small. You guys have uh, some project paper I gave you, some smaller, about 9 by 12 paper, and then some bigger, probably about 12 by 17 or 18, I think or 19, um, so whichever one you want to use, it's up to you, you can work small or big, depending on what you wanna make, how you wanna do it. So just big or small, let me know. Um, I wanna know, I wanna be reminded uh, with each person what the project is about and what the project will look like. So just give me a real quick answer again, what's your social issue and what you're saying? And then if you could show me that sketch that you landed on um, that we decided together would be the best one, please go ahead and you know put it here. Some of you might want to like rework your sketch a little bit and make a new just simple quick sketch. Um, so if you do, take a picture and put it here. Um, just so again, I, there's like 70 of you making these projects. So I just kind of need to be reminded every time uh, individually who's working on what. Now, um, I didn't already tell you, you get to choose which materials you want to use for this project. So um, whether it's pen and ink, you want to go back to that, or you really missed your charcoals or your color pencils. Um, I, I provided some oil pastels, just some bits of oil pastels. So that's in there for you. If you have paint at home and you want to, you know, add a little paint in there, that's fine. If you want to do something with mixed media and do some like collaging or I don't, even sewing or whatever, like you could talk about that too. If you guys are really interested in photography and want to do something with that, we could talk about that. So let me know in which medium you want to work in. Okay, so just let me know what you want to make. Um, and really, it's um, you got to think about what's going to enhance your project the most. Sometimes working in black and white, like pen and ink or charcoal, is the best option. Sometimes your ideas will be much better um, illustrated and communicated with color. So um, you got to think about what's going to be best for your project. And so that's going to take us to question four. What is your choice of material? Why is your choice of materials appropriate for this project? How will your material choice enhance your project and uphold your idea and message about your social issues? So you really got to think about what's the best for your project and not just like, oh, well, charcoal is really easy for me. So I want to use charcoal because it's the end of the year. Think about what's best for you and your project and your idea. Okay. Last thing is um, we typically need reference pictures to help us really illustrate our ideas. I, I mean, I've been drawing my whole life and I still have a really hard time drawing from my own head. I always use reference pictures. So you might need to go out and get those, take them on your own. You guys can use pexels.com. Um, you can use Google images, but just don't copy anything. Um, you know, you got to change the images enough because copyright issues are like copyright law is very scary and very expensive. So I wouldn't want any of you to ever get sued. Um, and any AP kids, any future AP kids who might put this in their portfolio, you really should take your own reference pictures for this project. So um, your work is completely original and authentic and uh, there won't be any issues when you turn in your portfolio later. So um, these are all things to think about and um, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and do this assignment. Once uh, Ms. Borges, me, gives you approval on your ideas, I might give you some more suggestions, but once I give you approval, you can start your rough draft drawing. So that's pretty much it. Let's get started.